Hey, this is Anna Reyes at Ocean Manor Resort for the press conference for the big celebrity boxing match on November 16th. Make sure you come and support our girl, Christine Curran, who will be fighting in the ring with Mob Wives Nat D. There's going to be a lot of excitement, and tonight we're going to get to see all the people boxing and a lot of celebrity and special guests. Come with us. I want to thank you guys for coming out. This is going to be an incredible event. Uh, let me introduce you to the man, the myth, the legend, putting this whole thing together. We got David Feldman, former professional undefeated boxer. You got a movie coming out in 2022 called The 16-Minute Man Movie. Everybody make some noise for David Feldman! Super excited that uh, the Celebrity Boxing has decided to uh, choose my charity, Glamathon. Uh, the purpose of Glamathon is very simple. We want to kiss breast cancer goodbye. Yeah. Uh, I've personally been involved with the charity for about four years. Um, they've been around for about six years, and uh, to date, as of last year, they've raised over a half a million dollars. Um, so they raise money to uh, provide mammograms, to provide care for patients that are already undergoing treatment, and uh, most of the money stays local here in, uh, in Broward, so that's really great too. Season five star, she was the out. She was the talk of the Mob Wives TV show, VH1 for that year. Uh, she's just, you know, a lot of reality stars, they just go away, she never does. She's like on her 21st minute right now. <laughs> she's just a great businesswoman. Great work ethic. She's also has two celebrity matches. She's a celebrity boxing welterweight champion. Uh, let's welcome Natalie Di Di Donato. I fought a few times, and I recently, um, about a year ago, I fought. I'm gonna say it's about a year now. Yeah, I fought hoops, and I was. Uh, she trained for about. I'm gonna say I heard it was five months, but I'm gonna give her three. And I was called in last minute, and I trained for five days. I stepped up to the ring. And she took the W, but with that, with all due, due respect, that was her fight. So she earned, she earned that, and she deserved it. Uh, after that fight, I fought a girl by the name of uh, Rachel on the radio. And Rachel was a very, you would look at Rachel and you would think she's timid, she's shy. She's like the girl next door. But guess what? She had fucking hands. She had hands. With all that being said, uh, I won that fight. I carry the belt. I am the winner. And there's nobody taking that from me. Tell us how you've been preparing for this big fight. Well, first of all, I've cut off the alcohol, except for tonight. Um, because God, life vodka. <laughs> let me tell you, I had a couple of drinks the other night and then tried to go back into my boxing training the next day. I mean, like, literally two drinks, well, maybe three. But either way, I could not, like, get down in the ring. So cutting the alcohol is, like, a huge part of this training, which I've already lost a couple pounds I feel good about. We can see that. <laughs> you look amazing. And I've just been eating really good, and I've been getting up at 6 o'clock in the morning. I've been running. I've been uh, training like two to three times a week with Billy Patton. He's like the best coach ever. Thank you, Billy, for everything you taught me. And I'm just really excited about this. This is a lot of fun. I'm having a good time. So I have a conditioning coach, and I have a boxing coach. And conditioning is completely different. Your footwork needs to be impeccable. You have to be on your A game. I'm training. I'm eating really healthy. I'm not drinking any alcohol. I might have had a glass of wine here or there, but them days are done. And I am vegan, I do a plant-based diet. I love animals, it's my life and my livelihood. Uh, don't think I'm a weirdo, but I like animals more than people. With all that being said, um, I'm about to shred up, cut down more. I'm in the gym every day, 5.30 in the morning I wake up. And like I said, this is my baby. This is my livelihood and this is gonna be my fight. Is this the first time you're ever boxing? Oh, definitely. So I did do a celebrity boxing match like many, many years ago with one of my co-hosts, Kavita. Um, but that was like a fun match. We got drunk before we even went in the ring and they were like extra large size gloves. We didn't train or anything. So there was no boxing fundamentals. Like that was just a play and play around. Um, this is like a legit match. I'm actually really, really training for this and I'm really going to go in there and give it all I got. The most challenging part is to not get sucked into the propaganda of the crowd. Totally go in the zone. Stay focused. Don't burn yourself out the first two rounds. Breathe and just stay conditioned. And then after that, it's a, it's a wrap. Well, I mean, there's a lot of truth in what she said, the fact that she's been in the ring and your adrenaline does get going, and I understand that feeling because I've been a sports and a competitor my entire life, so I think that I have that going for me that I already know what that feels like to get up on stage, get in front of the camera, or with the lights coming on, or a big crowd of people, so I don't see that that's going to be a problem for me just because I haven't professionally boxed yet like she has, um, and being that pretty much every sport I've done I've been really, really good at, I think that I've got a good, a good fighting chance to possibly win this, you know, I'm a fighting Irish, so... Yeah, My name is Double Wing, Shelby Boston Chamber.
Next up, guys, I'm gonna walk them up. She is gonna be the red carpet host that evening. Let's welcome Chef Karma. I'm so like happy to be a part of this. Like Kristen is like the best thing ever. And that G girl, I done seen you in the ring, so I am like super ready for y'all to get everybody pumped up, pumped up. Right now, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to welcome up. He's the owner of Forever Young Med Spas. I'd like to him his uh, group. You have your girls say a few words. Forever Young Med Spas. Girls, you want to tell about it? Forever Young? Thank you guys. Uh, yes, real quick. So we're for every Met Spa. We're located in South Florida. We have locations in the Western Jupiter, Delray, Fort Lauderdale, Boca, Aventura, is working soon. We do anything that's going to make you look better, feel better, that doesn't require surgery, health and wellness, aesthetics, uh, pretty much everything under one roof. Let's welcome Mark Malone. Woo! Also, Woo! Malone is also a Marine, a former Marine. Businessman, I'm not here to play. I hope you got your shirt. I haven't walked the fight for years. I'm not here to lose today. So. You're right about one thing. I have assurance that this is going to go my way. And when we're done, you can go back to being a businessman instead of pretending to be a fighter. Hey. <laughs> wow. Maybe we're going to come work with you to get some health insurance. We'll get the hands on the body. Hands down, hands down. Just a sit Hands down. There we go. Now that's what I'm talking about. Oh boy. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Alright guys, just step right here to the side. Thank you. Suave. Ripped. Body. Razor. Rizzotti. El Italiano. Stelliano, pound for pound, the best around, no doubt about it, forget about it. Forget about it. Can you do that one more time? <laughs> As a steel, undefeated combat sport champion. I like this guy. What do you mean? Like spirit animal. <laughs> I don't need no flashy nickname, I don't need to bark around, I don't need a yell to make my point of call. You're gonna see what I'm about. I'm not all those guys that you call. I'm Bison Club, as I said. The ass kick of phenomenon is gonna be wild. This sport that's going to be going on is for breast cancer research on the Glamathon. We're looking forward to seeing everyone there. We're all supporting you. And don't forget, well, I'm really glad that you're sponsoring this event. I would like to know more about the actual vodka. First of all, I had a glass. Amazing. I really enjoyed it. And I want to know what really vodka is doing, your particular Thug Life vodka. For sure. Well, it's, it's Thug Life vodka. All right, it's nighttime distill. All right. It's very, very top of the line vodka that you could get. Um, mixed with, it actually can mix it with everything. It's very smooth. No hangover, um, the best vodka for anybody, you know, so you could go to work the next day, enjoy your life, have the best feeling that you need to feel, Thug Life Vodka. We actually, it's a big movement, you know, Thug Life, is, it's about helping kids out, getting off the streets, putting them to an office somewhere positive where they could do something for themselves, whether it's going to the gym, going to school, going to anything. We support all type of events, anything that has to do with a positive um, movement, we with it. That's what Thug Life's about. It's a movement. It's a family. Go to webtix.net to get your tickets now because it will be a sold out show.